This part of the video will demonstrate how to enter patient data. Touch the System Setup button on the main menu bar. To enter data, touch the pen icon on the display. You can enter the following data using the keyboard. First and last name, and also the identification number. Note, the identification number will overwrite the patient name. So, when an ID is entered, only the ID is displayed. You can also enter date of birth. Gestational age in weeks plus days. And infant's birth weight in grams. Afterwards, touch a button for the gender and select a symbol for the patient from the list field. Both will be displayed in the header bar and the family screen view. Keep in mind that you can only delete data by restarting the device. The device uses patient data, such as date of birth, gestational age and weight, to determine an air temperature range for the patient. The suggested air temperature range is based on the assumption that the patient is a naked patient. Clear view is on and humidity is set to auto. For further information, please refer to the instructions for use. Baby Leo allows you to display the patient's trends and data over a period of up to seven days. To view this, touch the Trends Data button on the main menu bar to open the Graphical and Tabular Trend Overview. The Graphical Trends tab is able to give you a temporal resolution of the display with a selection of different parameter groups, which can be selected using the vertical tabs, including parameters such as thermoregulation, weight, noise and light, as well as user-defined. In thermoregulation, a maximum of two overviews may be displayed at the same time. For example, temperature and patient compartment, temperature and heating, or patient compartment and heating. If you wish to change the overviews, you touch the pen icon. As you can see on the screen, the color of the buttons indicates the overviews in which parameters can still be selected. Dark green means the parameter is selected and displayed as a graphical trend. Light green means the parameter can be selected. Gray means the parameter cannot be selected. Here are some vertical tabs and their uses. Using vertical tab Weight here, the measured patient weight is displayed. One measured value is saved per day. Using vertical tab User Defined, here users can decide which trends to display from the following overviews and parameters. Note that a maximum of three overviews can be displayed at the same time. If you wish to select a new parameter, you must deselect one of the other three. The colors of the buttons correspond to those of the indicators in the Thermoregulation tab. Second tab, Tabular Trends. Trends are displayed in tabular form in the Tabular Trends tab. The temporal resolution of the display can be set from 30 minutes to 24 hours. Earlier time periods and other parameters can be displayed with the arrow keys. Use the pen icon to change the overview. Third, Values and Settings. The Values and Settings tab displays all the current values and settings for thermoregulation. Fourth, Logbook. Much like the previous tabs, the Logbook tab displays all events and alarms in chronological order. The latest event or latest alarm will be seen at the top. Scroll to show earlier events and alarms using the arrow keys. In order to modify some entries under System Setup, a password needs to be entered. For example, for alarms, therapy, and export-import of the configuration data system. Various settings are possible for the device. Drago will deliver the device with factory settings, which are used when starting the device for the first time. You do have the option to reset to factory settings when necessary. To do this, open the relevant tab in the system setup, touch the factory default button and confirm. 
With the user-specific setting, the user can define specific settings for the device in the System Setup dialog window. For example, therapy values, alarm limits, or layout screen. Settings are automatically saved once confirmed. The values for the patient-specific settings are set on the main screen via the therapy bar. The patient-specific alarms are set via the Alarms dialog window. This setting includes information in the system setup for the patient and can be transferred to other devices via the Import-Export function. For this particular section, it is important to know that modifications made in Alarms and Therapy tabs are user-specific settings. For both, you need to go to System Setup, then Alarms or Therapy for modifications. And also in both tabs, Alarms and Therapy, changes apply to the device for the current patient and remain when the device is switched on again. Settings selected here will be used as default when the device is switched on. For transition and clear view, you have to keep in mind when transition is set to standard. It means when in incubator operation, the radiant warmer operates continuously at low power. And in radiant warmer operation, the convection heater operates continuously at low power. Eco signifies when in incubator operation, the radiant warmer is switched off. And in radiant warmer operation, the convection heater is switched off. Last, Clearview switches on so that the radiant warmer operates at low power and reduces the level of fogging on the hood. Clearview can be switched off when transition is set to Eco. Here, the mood light can be switched on and off and the color can be changed. In the Alarm Volume tab, you see the start level and maximum level in percentage for the acoustically given alarms. With Baby Leo, data can be imported and exported with a Draeger USB mass storage device. This function is used to 1. Transfer the configured default settings to several devices or 2. To transfer patient data to a new device. The USB port function can be activated and deactivated via System Setup, System, Interfaces, USB port. Begin by connecting the USB mass storage device to the USB port on the rear of the main column. It may take a few seconds for the device to recognize the USB mass storage device. Second, touch the System Setup button on the main menu bar. The Import-Export tab will open and display the Patient Data dialog window. From here, you can export the patient data by touching the Export button and confirming. When export is done, the exported data record is displayed in the dialog window with the date and time. When importing, touch the Import button and confirm. When import is done, the device will restart automatically. Please check the current therapy mode and settings for the patient. The same practice can be done under the Configuration Data tab, but you must enter the password and confirm.